Technology could cut down on accidents on the roads. It's as simple as using solar powered lights on the roads in rural areas. KSN's Kianga Kelly has that story now, new at six. Darren, this is caused couples uh, when they had a car accident and they were hit by a head on uh, by a drunk driver going the wrong way in Ellsworth County in 2011. KDOT officials hope this new lighting system can help prevent accidents like these. From the runway to the highway, Kansas roads are on the verge of advancing on a budget through solar power. Back in October, KDOT installed solar lights in both Neosha and Allen County at two U.S. 169 road interchanges. Project manager Chris Frost says it helps drivers see where they're going. We originally looked at them to, to, to replace power lights, but as, as time went on, we quickly realized that um, they won't be able to completely you know, replace power lights, but they will work very, very well in situations where the rural interchanges don't have enough traffic volume. Frost says the solar lights so far have shown they can survive extreme weather conditions. Crews installed 600 lights along the roadways. Only two have failed to work due to the harsh winter. KDOT reports they've gotten good feedback from those driving in foggy conditions compared to standard overhead lights. And the new system has the potential of preventing accidents like these. We foresee that these are going to be, you know, extremely beneficial for people that have those issues where, you know, there's no pavement marking to show you where the where to turn, but these can provide that guidance. Right now, the first 600 lights cost about $70,000. KDOT is doing research to see if it makes sense financially to expand the system. Kianga Kelly, KSN News. All right.